Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to what is the Money Pit, the Tig Rat. Hmm, today, started work already. Uh, I should have captured this. Continuity, that is the order of today. So, I've got the ECU off at the moment. I just want to make sure that everything earth wise is getting continuity. I have seen somewhere that these can fur up, it doesn't look that bad, but. Uh, I have seen people that have had trouble in the past with uh, engine earth, stuff like that. So basically when I start this up, it's chugging, it's coughing, it's making a right performance. And when it's warm, uh, ticks over, idles a lot, lot better, but it's got no power. You put your foot down and uh, it's just pulling back all the time. Uh, it, it's horrible, horrible to drive. So um, yeah, just gonna dig into it. Sort of look at what I can get to. Um, I want to try and see if I can get to the crankshaft and the cam position sensor um, just so I can check those are working okay. The annoying thing is nothing is coming up on the scanner at all. Nothing at all. Um, but it's running like um, a bag of... So something's wrong, but I don't know what. So nothing but the best Chinese rubbish for me. Um, so let's do a quick test because I've got that one off. Um, easy with one hand this. Right, so we've got an earth there that goes to the ECU, and that's the battery. So, yep, all looks good. I'm going to check as well. Let me try and get you around. There's a bolt in there, and apparently that one could be a bit dodgy too. Um, but, yeah, as you can hear, everything seems okay. Um, what else can we check to? Let's go somewhere completely random, shall we? There you go, that's on the engine itself. So there's nothing wrong with that lead. Um, I did wonder whether it was power to the ECU that was causing the problem. I've had so many thoughts in my head. Um, I've tested the pressure of the fuel, it's not that. Um, I've had the, the O2 sensor out there, it's not that. Uh, I've tested to the best of my abilities, the throttle body, it ain't that. The map is working okay. Um, a big problem can be these valves as well that's working absolutely fine I really don't know this one is becoming the biggest mystery I've ever had in my life hmm so I think we're about at that part where it gets serious there's some injectors or in here let's check they're injecting so the connections well, they don't look great but they don't look bad um, nothing visually looks bad. That's only one injector, obviously. Um, yeah, all delving. Okay, obviously, one of the first checks are the open circuit. Let's check. No. Okay, so injectors all tested, uh, cleaned, and came back fine, to be honest. Now, before you start going on in the comments about the cleanliness of my operation, um, I work for one of the biggest engine manufacturers and assemblers in the world. And let me tell you, when we did some field services, um, certainly on big machines with uh, very sense, uh, sensitive injectors, uh, we worked in very dusty, horrible environments. Yes, I know it's supposed to be clean. And when we assemble things on the track, it's all done in uh, pressure sealed containers. And everything else. But yeah, this is a Tigra. Um, it's probably never assembled with such care when it was put together in the first place. And it ain't going to get much care now because, frankly, it can't get any worse. Um, but anyway, long story short, injectors are okay. So let's get them all fitted back in again. And, um, yeah, see if any of my cleaning has done any good. What a blooming mess. And, yeah, I knew it would happen. It started raining. Um, I just bolted it all back together again. Uh, not much to do now. It, it looks bad, but it's not that bad. The one thing I am going to do... And I'm just heating up the soldering iron now. Is I'm sure on the Weiss Tigra, from that point there, there was a cable going on to the engine. Um, it shouldn't make a lot of difference, but I'm going to give it a go because I hey, tried everything else. I saw you working in the rain. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, anybody that lived in the 80s will, um, will know that or what I'm on about, or the song. Uh, anyway, right, stop waffling. So I've added the extra earth strap. 
Again, probably completely unnecessary, but hey, it's not going to do any harm. But I'm pretty sure that the wife, as I said, had one of those. So, yeah, it's done. It's on there now, so it's on the engine and it's on the uh, body. Right, I've only got the induction side to add back in, and then I'm going to get myself out of the rain. So, um, stop waffling and let's get on with it. So, induction back on, all bolted up, back together again, everything tightened up. Um, so, I guess the intelligent thing now would be to see... How many fuel leaks we got? Um, so let's turn the ignition on and um, pray. All right, system's purged. Don't see anything. Let's go around here and have a look. Mm, no, I think we're good. Right, let's go for a start. Right, this could be interesting. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. Everything looks good, everything's running as it should. Let's just check for leaks again. No, yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, the only thing that's not good is when you put your foot on the accelerator. It's still stuttering. Which says to me, it's still quite flat as well. It says to me, nothing has changed whatsoever. Ah, oh, the hell with this, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get some lunch. Let's go have some cake and a coffee. So, no faults that I didn't expect, to be honest. I'm just gonna now have a quick look at some of the live data and see if, uh, if that makes any sense. Then it's cake. Well, I've selected the usual suspects, um, so the fuel bank, sensor 1, is running lean and rich, as it should do, so it's reading fine. Um, second sensor is reading lean, which it always is, and I think that's correct as well. Um, short term is in the negative, so everything's good. Mass airflow is changing its voltage. And it is also reading about between 7 and 8 on the kilograms per hour. So that's all good. Uh, second bank sensor going up and down like a... Um, which again, all good. Um, the oxygen sensor heater is active. I mean, everything is just spot on. Um, air intake, 23 degrees. But maybe a tad high. Um, but I'll go with it. It's not that bad. It's certainly not in the 40s or 50s. 23 may be a bit ambitious, but uh, under the bonnet, it's going to be warmer, obviously. So, again, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, but I'm going to take it for a little test drive, see what happens. And then it is cake. As you can see, pooting along, it's fine. But let's, uh, let's get on the main road. I'll show you the problem. So we're now on a nice straight dual carriageway. And I'm going to put my foot to the floor. There you go, that is foot to the floor in fourth gear. And it's just coughing, spluttering, pulling back. It will not accelerate, put it into fourth. Take it easy on the throttle. That's only just touching the throttle. It will kind of pull a little bit. But I've put the foot to the floor again. Just feels like in the old days when we had carburetors, it's flooding. Bizarre, very bizarre. So again, just touching the throttle, it'll kind of go, but it's fifth gear. If I just touch the throttle, it'll sort of steadily climb up. But let's give it a little bit more. There you go, that's about halfway down, and it's just now pulling back and just not performing. So there you have it. Um, it is definitely cake time. So as you can see. It's running fine on tick over. Uh, as soon as you, if you rev it, it kind of revs. But as soon as you put it under load, nah, it just dies. Didn't die. Didn't didn't work at all. Um, cut it off because it's annoying as hell. Um, so what have I done? Uh, let me turn the camera around and we'll chat about it. So what have I done? Um, First job, I had the cord pack off and the spark plugs, all brand new. Um, now I know if they're not original Bosch, that can cause problems, but they are. So it's not that. Um, I've checked the fuel pressure. Fuel pressure is good. 
obviously just done the injectors, made sure that they were okay, and they're fine. Uh, they were checked, spot on, they were spraying perfectly. Um, cleaned every electrical connection up known to man. I have checked the PCV valve, I think that's what it's called. Um, the crankcase ventilation valve or the fuel pressure ventilation valve. You'll know what I mean. Done that, check the math, clean the math. Um, I'm, when you look at it, it looks like it's working fine, but I've got another one coming anyway, um, just to see. Uh, changed the battery because the battery was, uh, well, it died basically. So I was hoping that would solve some of the problems. It hasn't. Um, obviously done the earths, cleaned everything up. <sighs> um, done the usual throttle body cleaning, made sure that was all okay. The throttle body's fine. Um, I mean, I can't test it 100%, but I have looked online and I've looked at ways to see if it's working okay. And it looks fine. Um, I've got the boy to sit in the car, rev it up while I watch it and he's floored it basically and it's it's opened up and it's done what you would expect it to do i really don't know it kind of it feels like fuel starvation but it isn't it feels like spark but it isn't everything you look at everything you test your fuel trims um the spark retardation everything else everything comes up trumps i really don't understand it um when i first got the car i knew there was a a problem with the engine and the previous person had it in the garage two or three times uh they put it down to the fuel pump it's definitely not the fuel pump i checked delivery yesterday it's working fine um again i checked the math i've checked everything i've checked um it's really annoying now because okay i'm not a full-blown mechanic but i've worked on engines for years even electronic ones you've seen the stuff with the audis Nothing's ever beat me, but this is getting close now. It really is. Um, and if it wasn't just that, then, uh, you know, it wouldn't be so bad. But the windows as well. The windows, for everything I've tried, will not come down when you open the door. Um, I've joined forums. I've talked to people. Um, everybody says about the basic things, which I've tried. This is getting really advanced now. So, I don't know. If you watch these videos, then... Yeah, please feel free to comment. Pop around the house, fix it for me. <laughs> Do anything. I just want to move the car on. I want to get some more content for the channel. But that's not, you know, solely on the Tigra. I want to get some more cars to do up. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should just cut my losses and just trade this one in. Who knows? Anyway, it is cake time and it's coffee time. So I'm going. Thanks, Internet. And uh, yeah, from the madness, it is the Tigrat. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.